I've tried to describe to people what First Friday was and the, the antics and the events that we used to do, and it's really indescribable. When I first heard you were doing this documentary, I actually had a rush of memories about retreats, concerts, or social gatherings on the first Friday of every month. Being a part of a social movement and advocating political change was not part of First Friday. First Friday was really about creating community and family. Oh my goodness. It was a lifesaver. Being a lesbian in the 80s uh, was not as open, uh, certainly, as it is nowadays. There really weren't places that lesbians could go and be safe. You had to be so closeted, concerned with how you looked. It was like I'd walk out of the house, well, I look too dykey. If you came out and you were a teacher, and certainly in Virginia, you would have been fired. It's not even questionable. If you had children, you very well could have them taken away from you. We just wanted community, and we had to be very protective of it. It's not something that we could do out in the open. And although that's kind of sad in one way, it made it very rich and very fun. I don't think any woman that was part of First Friday will ever forget it because it was very important to a lot of us to have that in our life. What a gift, you know, to be able to be yourself. Uh, something that straight people probably take for granted. I remember that I met two women that night and I was going to be with one of them the next day if possible. We could be ourselves and that was an amazing thing. First Friday could re really plan a dance that would have a theme and encourage people to dress a certain way and they would all do it. <laughs> One of the caretakers turned to me and he said, you know, some of these men in here kind of look like women. And we kept doing more and more and more and I remember sometimes my eyes would pop open thinking, gosh, can we pull this off? Everybody was talking and planning and doing it and it just always came together. There was no hierarchy. We didn't have a president and a vice president and all those things. It's just people kind of did what they were good at and what they liked to do. Nobody said, we can't do that. We, and we couldn't do that. But everything was a positive. Every, that was what was so terrific about the whole group of women, that we just knew we could do it somehow, and we did it. 